Uh, time now for a check on your health. You know, yesterday was World Brain Tumor Awareness Day. A brain tumor is a mass or growth of abnormal cells in the brain. Different types, you know, some are non-cancerous or benign, some are cancerous or malignant, and the treatments vary about that. Dr. Olivia Claire Ball from Infirmary Health, a radiation oncologist, is here to talk about some of the state-of-the-art yes. treatment being made available now, and it's called the HyperArc. Yes, thanks okay. for having me. Yeah. So HyperArc uh, radio surgery mm -hmm. is an efficient way to deliver high dose radiation to brain tumors. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to deliver um, radiation to multiple brain tumors simultaneously. So now treatments that took over an hour mm -hmm. only take about 15 to 20 minutes to deliver. That is, we were looking at some of the benefits of this procedure, and that's what stood out to me most, the shortened amount of time. And yes. for a patient, that matters. Oh, for sure. Also, you say that the benefits of this procedure are long, too, in addition to just the shortened time. But talk about some of the other benefits for men as well. So hyperarc radiosurgery is also more precise, mm -hmm. which means we are able to treat with sparing more normal, healthy brain tissue, and that means less side effects for our patients. Mm. What would the side effects normally be? It could be headaches, nausea, and requiring more procedures down the road. So it's really awesome that we can decrease that risk. Okay. And we were discussing here while we were listening to Jason talking about that sultry forecast, yeah. um, the six degrees of freedom couch. And you were telling me a couch is actually where the treatment is done, but it's not literally yes. a couch. It's a table. So whenever yeah. someone receives radiation therapy, we lay them on the table called the couch. Mm -hmm. um, with our older couch, we were able to take into account some translational movements, um, but now with the six degrees of freedom couch, mm -hmm. we're able to take into account rotational area as well, which means shorter treatment times and a more comfortable patient experience. Okay, and in reading in the notes about this, there's something about the breath hold, can you explain that? Yes, so whenever I'm treating a malignancy within the thorax, such as esophageal cancer or mm -hmm. lung cancer, often the tumor moves in relation to the patient's breathing. Mm. With deep breath hold, I'm able to take into account that tumor motion, and so I'm able to design a treatment plan that has decreased radiation dose to the normal healthy lung and heart. Mm -hmm. Now, we were talking also that this was made possible from a grant. Yes, so I wanted to take this opportunity yeah. to thank the auxiliary. So grateful to the auxiliary for this huge contribution to our cancer center. I've already witnessed firsthand just how profound these mm -hmm. newer technologies can impact our patients and the awesome treatment outcomes they can afford. And as we mentioned, you know, at the start of this segment here, there are so many different types of tumors. How do you know though, what are the symptoms? Well, that's a difficult question to answer, but since you were saying brain tumor awareness, yeah. um, headaches, nausea, vomiting, but the biggest thing would be just talking to your provider or if gotcha. you feel like um, there's something that needs follow up to be assessed. All right, well thank you so much for stopping by yeah. and letting us know about this yeah. new technology that's available locally 